So today we're going to be talking about Tony Cart seats and Tony Cart axles. So let's get to it. Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today we're giving you an introduction into Tony Cart seats and axles. If you like these videos, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Also, if you've got a question, leave it in the comments below because we are actually covering this topic today because someone has asked that question already. So, let's get to it. So, Tony Cart seats come in four different sizes. Four, three, two, and one in the senior sizes. And the way to tell which seat you've got is to measure it across the narrowest point. So over here we've got a Tony Cart seat. Now what you want to know is the measurement. People will ask you oh, how many millimeters is, or centimeters is your seat. And what you want to do is get your tape measure out and you want to measure across the narrowest part of the seat which is just here. Now this is a size 4 Tony Cart seat. So grab yourself your tape measure and measure across the seat just here like so. And it should be inside to inside measurement is what people want to know and this one's a size 4 and it's 34 centimeters or 340 millimeters so for size 3 it's going to be 325 the size 2 is 310 millimeters and the size 1 is 295 millimeters so for the juniors and the cadets we have three seats available there's two mini seats, a size one and a size two, and they're both round bottom seats. And then you've got the size three junior flat bottom, and that's the only seat for the junior kids with the flat bottom. So the three sizes these kids' seats come in is 255, 245, and 235 for the size one. So when fitting your seat, it's important that your hips fit into the seat perfectly. You don't want it too tight because your hips will not flex and you won't get into the seat and it gives you incredible pain and discomfort and it's just not fun. So you've got to make sure that your hips fit in the bottom of the seat and then if you need extra padding here for your ribs, you can just put some padding in and that will pack your ribs out so you're not flopping around in the top. The advantage of not moving around in the seat is that your body is under less stress. So as you go through the corners, if your hips are loose and your ribs are tight, you, your spine can get the torsion of the cart put through it and vice versa if your hips are totally tight here then your um, upper body's flopping around in the seat that's not ideal either likewise you don't want your hips to be too free in the seat so it really is a matter of testing them out to find the right size so a good way to check to see if your hips are tight in the seat is to grab the seat like this and fit it to your body and you should be able to stick it onto your tush without having to uh, hold it Another way you can check your seat is to sit it on an office chair. Now this is a size 2, to, so to give you some reference, I'm 70 kilos, 32 inch pants, and I'm running a size 2. I can also fit into a size 3, but it's a little bit looser. Uh, the size 2 is really firm on my hips, but not too tight, and then I've got a little bit of room for a rib protector. But your ribs will flex with the seat if it's a little tight as well, so don't be too worried about that. So when it comes to fitting your seat, we have a great video on that and you can check out the link in the description below. But what I wanted to show you here was the parallel strips with the car seat sitting down flat on its flat bottom. Now that's okay if you want this angle for the seat, but sometimes you want to rock the seat backwards if you've got like a really tall driver for the car. Or if the driver is very very small and he's not quite reaching the steering wheel, sometimes you might want to kick the seat up a little bit at the back just to get your dimensions right. Now to do that, grab yourself a little sprocket and if you want to tilt the seat back at the top, just slide that into the front of the seat on your parallel strips that will be sitting up on your trolley and grab your lead weight and sit that down in the seat and that will hold your seat into position. Otherwise, if you want the seat tilting up at the back, just simply add your rear sprocket to the rear of the seat on the parallel strips and then add your weight to the flat bottom and that will hold your seat in position as well. So there you have it, that's the introduction to Tony Cart seats and their sizes. So next up we want to talk about axle grades. Now in the Tony Cart range, 50mm has the biggest range and they come in HH, HD, H, N, Q, U and E. And that's the scale from hardest to softest, E being the softest and hard hard being the hardest axle that they make. 
So for the 50 millimeter axle, the keyways have uh, pegs. So the standard keyway is a two peg, and the heavy duty three peg is for the KZ inboard sprocket. So the axles come in meter 30 and also meter long. Now, and also too, they have a KZ version, which has the three holes and the slot for the keyway to fit into. And that's the, the three variations. So when to use the axle grades? This is a pretty tricky situation. The end axle that comes with the card is fantastic and it's going to get you out of 90% of situations. Now it all depends on what sort of tyre you're running and sort of the grip conditions of the track. Sometimes in winter and slippery tracks, obviously you're going to go to a softer axle and in the summer, grippier tracks, you go to a hardened axle. But that doesn't work all the times because conditions change. But as a general rule, if the car is coming on too slow, go to a softer grade axle. If the car's coming on too fast, go to a harder axle. And that should get you out of a little bit of trouble. So with the axle grading, it is a general recommendation. I really suggest that you go out and experiment with the different axle grades. The best thing you can do is grab a couple of axles, a medium, a hard, and a soft, and go to your local track and do some testing to find out in what conditions suits your tires and your car. And that way you'll know as the conditions change which way to go on your axle grades. As it's a lot more complex than just putting in a magic axle and dominating. The other thing to consider is the axle stiffener bush. Now we have covered this in a different video and you can check out that link in the description below. And you want to put this in the softer grade axles being the Q, the U and the E. And then that will stop the axle deforming when you do up your grub screws on your bearings. So also in the Tony Kart range, we've got 30 millimeter axles and 40 millimeter axles. In your 30 millimeter axles, you've got four grades and these are for the cadets. You've got the U, which is the softest, the N, which is your standard, and the new O axle, and then the hard. When you would use those, obviously, it's just a for fine tuning. It comes standard with an N axle in the cadet carts and the junior cart comes with an N as well. The new Evo cart comes with an O. If you're running on a cold circuit or in the wet, you could go down to your soft U axle, or if you were, it was really hot and sticky and you wanted to get a little bit more release off the corner, you could try your hard axle as well. In the 40 millimeter range, this is a 1060, this is out of the DD2, but there's also a meter axle for the Nordics cut that you can get. And there's an N and a H axle. So there's two types of keyways available. The eight by five, and the 8x8. Eight eight. This one here is for the 30mm axle. So there you have it. Tony Kart seats and how to get them to fit to your body. The Tony Kart axles in the different di diameters and the grading system. If you've got any questions, put it in the comment section below. Turn on your notifications, hit the subscribe button, and give us a thumbs up if you like the video. You can follow along at Power Republic on Instagram and Facebook, or you can go to our website www.powerpublic.com.au and grab yourself a t-shirt, a seat and an axle. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.